Hi, this is Jeff from D-Trailers. It's the uh, holiday season, and I'm sure many of you are skiing or vacation or who knows what, but here I am working, and I am, I am fine with that. I got, uh, we got, let's see, three, three orders in right before the end of the year. We ran some end-of-year specials. So I'm, I'm fine with that. But this, the reason I'm shooting this video, this is what I, th I think in the past we built two other what I call super trailers. And they're basically, you know, more gallonage, more output, something special, something different than any of the other stuff we do. We built one called the Dominator, which was a 36-foot enclosed triple axle, 1,000-gallon uh, unit. Built that like 10 years ago. And then we built a unit for NASCAR for the tour bus for cleaning their tour buses. That was a triple axle, 20 foot, 600 gallon trailer. That was a pretty insane trailer too. So this one's going to be right along those lines with what I describe as a super trailer. This one's going to be 600 gallons. Doesn't look like it, but those are dual 300 gallon tanks right there. And then at the back, we're going to have dual V twins, which each one of them puts out 3,500 psi at about six gallons a minute so you know basically this is a 36 horsepower trailer putting out uh, uh, 12 gallons a minute total um, it's going to the oil fields I'm I'm not even a quarter of the way through building it right now but we've got this I've got the the pressure washers mounted the uh, gas tanks I got to fab some brackets to hold those I've got a trick little setup so there'll be one for each one for each side that's so I don't clown my shin and scream in agony. It's actually, if you wanted a, if you wanted to put a, uh, another hitch ball on it, because it's legal here in Texas, you could, you could actually tow another trailer behind this. And you're probably looking at this thinking, what the heck? Well, every trailer, I have the trailer frames made for me to my spec, and every single one I get, the fenders are always, uh, I'll just say they're below my standards. So I'm going to, scrub these down and repaint these. Um, and then what's kind of neat is that th this will be a dual burner. So the burner's right here. It'll have two burners, one burner for each of the pressure washers in the back. And I don't know whether to mount them like this, perpendicular to the axle, or if I'm gonna, you know, rotate them and have them side by side, uh, crosswise, uh, parallel to the axles. Don't know, don't know if I'm gonna do that yet. Here's the, uh, Here's my aluminum strips. I'm going to start fabbing the brackets for the tank. And there's my, there's my bender right there. But another neat little feature is he wants a, an additional pressure washer up front that won't be hot water. It'll be cold water only. And this will actually be plumbed all the way to the back. And one thing I didn't mention, I'm going to fab a, a tube steel rack that'll go up all the way across here, and then there'll be three stainless steel reels along here. Two of them will be for the hot units, and then the middle one will be for that front pressure washer as just to follow behind, kind of like a, you know, to, to follow the work that these, so, you know, this, this trailer's gonna be multi-crew. I mean, there's probably gonna be three, three guys operating this, one guy in each pressure washer, and then one guy following up uh, behind these two guys. Um, if you know anything about how the oil field work is, you'd, you'd understand. I've actually learned it because of building systems like this for the guys that do the, the oil field. So today I'm just going to work on fabricating, getting, getting the, the gas tanks mounted, and then tomorrow I'm going to start working. i got to plumb um, the tanks because they didn't put any fittings in them. I've got to drill and run bulkhead fittings for every outlet that I need. So it's just really, uh, you know, this... Compared to a lot of stuff we've done, it's not really um, in, intensive labor. It's just it's just going to be a lot of dull menial menial labor. I guess a good way to put it. But anyway, happy holidays, everyone! And uh, I'll be shooting vids and updating this as I go along. I plan on having this done Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, probably over the weekend or Monday, and I'll shoot some shoot some pictures and throw it up on on my page. All right, happy holidays, happy new year.